have already been here before against Vitality, and Fury are the ones who came out victorious. But the first letter of Vitality is, of course, the same as the one in Victory. Already, we're going to be seeing Zen take a decent chunk of offense. But when you talk about offense, my word, you cannot not talk about Furia. The Furia number one offense is something to fear, and the press is already on, but the low shot saved by Vitality. But the rebounds are being found by Lost. But Furia need to find those bombs, and that's where Trufino comes into the picture. But Vitality J still have some signs of life. But it goes from right to left. Alpha there for Zen getting bumps into the net, but good challenges out of Furia. Now the demos are starting to be a pain. Of course, these teams have had such different paths through to the quarterfinals so far, and somewhat conflicting when you look at how people predicted them originally as well. Furia, 3 and 0, oh, taking down Vitality on the way. Whereas Vitality, they went all the way to 5, struggled against Luminosity, but they still sit with the exact same right, and the semi finals appearance is on the line. A captain of Alpha leading that charge. And now Zen, the biggest playmaker on the team. But Vitality, this is not a one-man show. Alpha centering this one out and get the reset. But bouncing towards the net, great save. And a launch by Loss, but not enough boost to keep up with this. A double aerial challenge from Furia. A chance for Vitality to strike. And it's Rodosin with the man with the ball, but shut down again by Loss. Two up from Furia. And my word, they live and die by their aggressive sword. Whenever they go for an attack, every player has to commit to it. Otherwise, you're only pushing two thirds of your team up. The Fury are a conveyor belt of teeth when they move into the opposition's half. It's where they like to spend their. It's like where they like to spend their time. Where they like to attack from. And it is so hard to work out. And Vitality, they've been here before. They will have notes from this. Is then trying to control this ball, and this was a match that everyone thought was going to go to seven, just based on how Swiss has gone. But lost, he's made saves time and time again. He's been the wild card that has become the ace for Furia. It goes to the orange half, and Yan is overwhelmed. The defenders group up of Vitality, but Yan from the ceiling to tap this in. No oh, Vitality, hold off. The defense so far, Vitality proving to be very strong. Asturia did struggle to break through, but did so repeatedly. They shut down Vitality. It was a hard time for them to make sure that they could actually stay as defensively intense as they would like to be in Furia. Every chance they had, they attempted to take. And I love that they don't have any half measures. From Jan to Jufinho, back over towards the middle. Lost receives this shot on a bit of an awkward defense. A fake out. Alpha! And who else but lost realistically to score that first goal too? He is sitting number one in the rating. And Ellsworth, he's got 54 on his name, but that is the number one goal for Vitality. And he knows how to talk back. Oh. After he got dumped, Vitality had an answer. And this stays close. In the last rematch, it was Vitality that struck hard and they struck early. Furia were on the back foot, but Furia became prepared. Here's Alpha and Sen, knowing Alpha needed some help. This is boomed all the way to Radosin's hands, but Trevino spells blood in the water and wants to slow down the transition out of Vitality. Midfield sees Trevino go for a nice little double tap, just keep that pressure. Now Yao wants to pressure Zen. Chance with him to battle versus Alpha. It goes on, Radosin's gonna respond with a punt of his own. Lost, sending it opposite back corner with 100 boost and 90 seconds remaining. Yan and Lost can link up again in the midfield. We've seen so many battles previously there. In all of our series so far, we've seen one team go two games ahead. And then one side has won it, uh -oh. the other side has lost. Uh -oh. Speaking of loss, it's a shot, but it's a dive back from Rado. He saves it, and he gets moved from the pitch. And Gervinho is so good at making that speed usually, and that time it didn't work, and the counter-attack from Vitality almost gave them the lead. But here's Alpha working on the reset, and good contest by Gervinho, the ball in Yan's hands. And against the number one of Vitality of Zen, it's not been an easy job for the number one of offense of Furia to get the lead back in their hands. 52 seconds remain. Vitality have the midfield to work with towards the back wall. Furia put it to the side. 
It's awkward touches from both teams so far, but neither being able to capitalize on the other's errors. Trufino sending it central, lost touch back central. Trufino first there, it's a fake. Alpha reads it. Gatlin goes to the secondary shot. A removal from the pitch, reducing saving from the goal line. This is how Fury loves to play. And Vitality needed that layered defense because you know how relentless Fury can be. And time is running out. In a best of seven, there's a lot of room to go as Yan yeah, tries to pop it above Alpha. There in time, the reinforcements of Vitality return. The net seems secure. It's boomed towards Yan, yeah, but Vitality aren't there to kick up and develop an offense. Now it's a midfield skirmish as the last couple of seconds go. Who will get the lead as Yan yeah postures? He's at a boost. Where is Trevino? He is back, keeping the ball up. Loss has to rotate forward, but it's Vitality's chance. Team split by an absolute hair previously. It went to five, and that kickoff nearly ending it in about three seconds. Such a close performance between the two of them in the first 10 seconds. We're already seeing the offensive prowess both teams can put forward. Alpha sends it central from a dunk, but nobody there to receive it till Zen in the corner. Intelligently takes it low, lets a Redosin into challenge. Zen there again with a reset, but ball flies a little bit too far away from him, so he can't carry on with that pressure. Jofinho to Jan. Jofinho now again going for those demos, and that offense, that aggression from Furia. Their teeth are bared. Wow, Furia have done everything. The doubles off the sidewall, the reset for Jofinho and Jan! Adding to the power. But Vitality stand tall, but they are stuck in their zone. Jofinho with the ball, but Zed with the 50 in time to put it to the side. As Furia, man, this aggression is building up. Jofinho is grabbing boost, but Furia running out of resources. This is where Vitality can move the down the field. And comes with no! Zed scores! Who else but Zed to close out game number one? Rado passing down, and I love the death touch back behind Jan. This game has been a game of such intense shots, the firepower at every opportunity. We go to game two with Vitality in a lead. Game number two, bear in mind best of seven here as well. Last time it was best of five, went all the way to those five. A demo, it's early picking, it's Rado going for two. Jafunia has to sit solid on the goal line, does so. Little double commit on these kind of half offense, half defense. Alpha up, reset, three boost, flicks it high. Who's going to be there next? It will just be lost to send it away. We've not seen a huge amount out of loss so far, but he is Mr. Furia so far in this competition. Yeah, Jafunia holds on at that moment, but needs to land those bumps. He is the enabler of Furia. He needs to make space for someone like Lost and Yan and Vitality. They fight, they go forward, and so far their offense is what's dominating in this game too. So far, ball going back to Vitality. That's a threat, Lost hunting for boost, hoping to boost our Vitality. It's getting to that point. Now Yan, air dribble has space. Trevino lost oh. in and it's wide to the left. But Vitality put it to the side, and Alpha brings speed, but he stopped. When Furia shoot, a second one comes in so quickly afterwards. That's the nature of the beast when they shadow each other so closely. Lost in the perfect position, but only sets up Zen with it. No reset, a dunk opportunity, a bump opportunity, a Zen opportunity. And Radosin has been that frontline bully that Vitality needed. He can be hot, he can be cold, but right now, start with a lead for the first time this series as Furia. Their offense hasn't kicked as hard as it did in game one. We'll see what Yan can do. He plays closer to Jafini, but Jafini is the one getting demoed. He's the one supposed to be delivering that. Gets a taste of his own medicine. Vitality may be thinking, look, if we play a 2v3, that's much better than playing a 3v3, lads. Zen removing Yan just for the sheer audacity of being in his temple. Rado avoids the ball, goes for the man. Trofinho's back, Zen shoots top corner. Trofinho diving across the net yet again. Now Yan, midfield, a little bit of time, a lot of ambition. Loss comes in to try and take that shot quickly. Trofinho now, midfield, Yan, central. Third man not available. Instead, the next touch goes to Alpha, who then is in a one goal opportunity. That bounces mid. It's Rado up. It's a block from Trofinho. That was really close. The last time these two teams faced, Furia, they commit so many offensive members forward, and that's where Vitality moved the ball across. And 
were able to score on that Furia have to be more aware of this. But the threat level still needs to be generated on a Furia. But here comes Zen, marching forward, crashes into the corner as Alpha goes for the assist. Rodosin sets them forward. Play oh! Rodosin sinks it, stands up out of his chair, shouts directly at everybody on Furia. Sit down. No problem for Rado. And you see the electricity now flowing through Vitality's veins. Rodosin said, it's time to put respect on my name. You need to be more aware of my game. And he has shown up for Vitality when they needed him to the most. And Vitality are not even done here. They find themselves in the blue zone again. As Demands respect and you are going to give it to him. It's Alpha setting him up this time. Swipes him from the side, calls Alpha off the shot. He's got the momentum. Jofino can't get back. It is three for Vitality. Only half the game gone. Fury, uh, don't have the Fury in game two quite yet. Needing to find themselves. Connect and Alpha into the back. Vitality are winning the 50s. They keep drumming up these offenses and Furia's heartbeat is starting to steady. But Jorvino has no boost. All of Fury are running on fumes. They need to organize and they need to thrive. This is typically as well where what Fury do to their opponents. It's another one for Zen. It's another opportunity. And with the abundance of boost that Vitality have, they can take chances and risks exactly like that. Furia, this is the side of the coin that you put your opposition on at every single time that you play them. The boost steals from them. They are oppressive. They find themselves as the oppressed. And Furia, they are going to do their best to work out from it. Trofinio, he gets a liquor boost and he spits the ball into Vitality's net. It's about time, Furia. I mean, the follow-ups were getting later and later, but man, they smelt that Vitality. We're looking awkward in the net and finally, Knock that one home to get Furia at least on the board. They still trail by two with 90 seconds left. It also shows exactly what they are able to do with very little boost. Trofinio and the rest of Furia in total had 30 when that goal went in. The boost started to be a much more non-issue as they learned to adapt to it. And Jan, with some boost, a lot of talent can skip it down the pitch with some flip resets. Jan pips it high, Zen with 100 boost now. Goes near the ceiling, no signature shot for him today. Instead, just tries to go for something a little bit simpler. And as they are still too clear, Vitality, they need to hold on to this lead. Alpha does such a good job of reading the ball. Furia can't transition easily. And uh, the Vitality are beating Furia to the ball on their defense. So Furia still need Yan and Was to get these incredible fast passes that they accomplished in Swiss. Yan can't get away with solo plays, not against a team as good as Vitality. 40 seconds remain, Yan with not enough boost to really go for a reset there, now lays the ball off towards Vitality, 100 boost for Alpha, goes central with it, it's a one, it's a two, but no third tap coming in from any of those Golden Hornets. See if they can sting, but it's Furia so close! What a he has truly stepped up, and Furia gets so close no. to scoring. 14 seconds left. What is Rodosin up to? Furia, they trail, but it's picking up pace. Lost, couldn't break that up. And all the momentum that Furia had has drained in this game too, as Vitality go up 2-0 in the series. And bear in mind, Levin, we've already seen European teams in every series we've had today go up by two games. In one of them, it mattered a lot. They ended up taking it. How easy that journey seemed to be. But it all matters how you play on the day. And top eight, looking good for Vitality. It's a battle of South America versus France here in Denmark, in Copenhagen. Vitality lead 2-0. An early ambition for them is going to be pushing through into game number three. Furia, can you recover? Can you take a breath? under the impression of vitality. Well, you got to take a, a few of those breaths during that timeout. We'll see if Furia can find out what was wrong. Can they play closer? What does Jervinho have to do? And everyone's demoing each other and Team Vitality have a window to work with. Renosa with the reset! Whoa! Whoa! Renosa the hero! Renosa is ridiculous! Sends it high, reset is his, dunk is his, goal is his! 
this series may well be vitalities when you see Rado popping off like that. He's been cutting about in free play. You, he's not just the bully. He's not just the physical man for vitality. He said, I want them to chant my name too. He had two goals in game two. And vitality can be all smiles in game three thanks to him. Because Radosin postures and forces Jorfino's attention towards the net. Alpha up high was the setup man and wanted to force his way through with the bomb. Jorfino barely gets it to the side. And with the Devos, Furia panicking as they still hope to stabilize. There's Vitality pre-jumping in front of them. I'd be scared too. Minute 15 elapsed. No real opportunity to Furious so far have actually come out. It's been full ball offensive Vitality. Gunpowder in their cannons. Zen now taps it backboard bound. Rafinho battles Radosin. This time putting that round verse the bully. Pops out to Alpha. Who takes his shot? The defense. What happened to Furia? Radosin stuck in the 50. And well, Drafinho's trying to make his way through traffic. And I was just about to talk just how important that pillar of Drafinho is for this team. Lost and Yan, yes, incredible offensively, but Drafinho in that neutral third makes almost every save, makes almost every bump, but we're not seeing Drafinho at his peak. It's only a small 2-0 lead for Vitality, but with Furia struggling, they haven't scored since uh, game one. Again, finding themselves trapped back in their own half of Furia. Vitality, this offense, keeping them penned. Two minutes gone now, a dunk attempt by Lost. Rodos in right wing, no 100 boost grab for him until he then spots that back one sitting pretty in the Furia corner. A ball actually drifting very awkwardly. Furia, a chance. Can you get that central? Can you get that shot off? Lost is there. Lost shoots! The Furio to erupt as Furia again get a goal. When Furia are lost, they will be found. They keep themselves within one. Boost starving team vitality, finding them at their weakest moment. And Furia, they break through the ice give themselves signs of life. But it's a kickoff that favors Vitality and Yan. He can deal with the pressure well and goes for demos. But Vitality, they keep kicking, they keep punching, and you gotta worry if you're Furia. Halfway through and that Furia goal cutting down the deficit to half as well. All three players on Fury sitting very close to it. They like to attack like that, but when you're on defense, you don't want to be too close to each other. It just slows down when you can actually clear that ball out too. Zed midfield being a nuisance. Lost setting it down that left-hand side. Jofino to pick it up. Challenging with Alpha. Zed instead on the backboard. A demo from Radosin shuts down any midfield ambitions. Alpha up high with not enough boost to really make a play from it. Jofino dives in the way instead. Zed long again. Lost to intercept. Ping-ponging around the pitch, are we now, here in Copenhagen. For Furia, they need a goal, and with a ball being handed away from Alpha like that, opportunities will arise. Vitality are beating Furia to the chase when they want, when Furia want to pass. But yeah, this is a good catch against Senno, the 50. Kills that opportunity for Furia. But Yan advances from that midfield, sees Alpha go up the wall, Yan bumping people around and lost. The ball gets away from him. Vitality don't have a lot of real estate though, as Furia hunts for the equalizer. Yan, that demo was big, but Verdosin won't let it get centered out. But Furia were a little overcommitted, so Team Vitality's counterattack looked a bit scary. This goes back to the orange half, a minute 20 left. Furia still trail by one. Huge clear from Rado, but it only goes as far as midfield before these pre-jumps from both teams shut down any real big pump efforts. Alpha sends in midfield. The only man there is going to be Jan. And Jan, the man, has absolutely got a plan when he's got the ball, but it pinches long. It's Rado again! Oh, he's feeling himself. He is still performing at his best on the biggest of stages when it matters. 3-1-4 for Vitality with less than a minute. Furia were feeling okay only being within arm's reach. Well, that reach is getting further and further. But a good kickoff for Furia. They need to balance their boost well. They were so good at bringing that ball into the air and really stretching Vitality thin in that last rematch. Furia were leading the series the last time they met. But it's Vitality that has oh. the capes on their back. And the demos from Vitality are just destructing Furia's organization. 
and this goes towards the cross as Radosin drops it almost near the box. Alpha steps up and lost clears. As many chances as you see Vitality have, they then just try and get control of the ball as soon as they can again. It doesn't matter at this point where it goes. As long as it's not in your net, you are not bothered. Midfield again, more battles. Furia, they need to punch their way into the orange half. Otherwise, another win for Vitality. It'll be a 3-0 so far. But unlike last time they met, it is not a best of five. One more victory for Vitality, and a semi-final spot will be theirs. At the one second mark, that hurts. And it hurts even more when Fury bested them. Yes, it went to game five. You see the coach of Vitality rallying the fans. He knows his team. Fuel off of this energy. Fury, it's all down to this. Zero seconds, this will go to Vitality. But how did Furia come back from this? It would have to be a reverse sweep. It is an incredibly hard time to be Furia. But to maybe advance further than anyone could have ever expected when Furia looked like the maybe more favorite team just based off of performance. But Rodosin, when he's at his peak, when Jorfina's looking a little quiet on the physical end, he needs to make his impact known for Furia to break up Vitality. Game four here in the Coliseum may well be the sight of Furia going down. That Panther may be slain by the Gladiators in Vitality, but lost, getting rid of Alpha. Yan taking over the ball, it's 40 boost. He's going for a musty, but the block is good for Rado. Furia getting frustrated. They've only been able to score two goals this entire series. One in game one and one in game three. And what happened to the number one offense of the Copenhagen Major? Furia, they will not give up though. South America's hearts will beat on until they are put to rest. It is match point for Vitality. And this, oh, Zen still was able to make the save. And Furia will need to go for bumps. And while the demos are coming in late, but maybe Furia what can feel the pressure! And Blas will find it! A one assist coming through as well from Trofinio. Starts with Jan, in the middle is Trofinio. Finally lost, and that is the three-pronged attack, the trident of Furia. Every tooth tearing through the flesh of vitality. Lost has been... The ace that Furia can depend on. But you need to do so much more, not only in this game, but in this series, to make up for the slow start. But Furia, this is something they can lean on, a leg they can stand on, and it goes towards the net! What a save from Radosin! As Zen hopes for a fast counterattack, but Trevino, that pillar in the back, puts it to the side. But now Vitality don't have Alpha in the play. Zen is gonna wait. Lost. Trying to flick it above, but the defenders of Vitality are just too good. Minute 40 elapsed, and this Fury lead so far has been a rarity in the series. Pumped above that crossbar. It's a chance for Zed to try and just get rid of any defender. They have to stay grounded as the aerial mindedness of Vitality completely baffles Trofinio. And that's why I said there is a a Triforce, this is not a Zen show. There are three threats on Vitality. You gotta go cross-eyed watching which one you gotta worry about. Vitality, beautiful fakes to get the equalizer. Furious defense, they don't have to play it too often, at least not in Swiss, not in their region. But against one of Europe's best, Furia are being tested to their limits. We're approaching half-time and complete equity in goals so far. Zen and Rodosa both commit on that back line. It goes from Zen to Alpha. Back wall to be found, instead it goes to Lost. It's pumped high. Rodosa can keep it in that blue half. Zen dives in, that is a risky play. Rodosa has to get a touch towards the side, but now it's a chance for Lost, low on boost. Wants to really hand this off to another player. Jan will be that other player. Back ball, Rodosa yet again. Alpha, corner bound, and Rodosa is sending it long, but not really far enough as Lost beats out Alpha yet again. Furia, they get stopped, and all oh. Zen puts it to the side. You saw someone zooming on by. And Furia, their offense to be respected. But now a lead not in their hands, no longer. But Lost, he's been that spark plug, and he will help Furia find something. But Yan is getting shoved around. Furia can't find themselves because Vitality are bullying them. But Alpha has a 
trail, and Yan tries to stop him. And you see the positioning there for Fury, and they're getting back into that aggressive mindset because one demo comes in, and then they all need to scamper back into the blue half. It's a double chance for Zen, pings it off the crossbar, and now Trefilio low on boost. Again, any player of Fury that has the ball is struggling to really find another man to send it to. Yan is getting bumped every time he wants to drive the car. The ball's nowhere near him, but they know that Yan is one of the most solo mechanical players. And you gotta just break up Fury as best as you can. Less than 90 seconds. Vitality only need one to go to the semi-final. What a save by Lost. It's Trefino now, chance in the midfield. A redosing the MVP of the series. A reset removed straight to the scrapyard. Yan holds on, kid. They cannot afford to do that. Oh, Yan wants to counter attack, but Jorfino will hold on to the midfield. Yan is trying to boost our vitality. This is where they can slow down one of Europe's best, but Redosa has a shot. And Yan will 50. Moss follows up. Fury is trying to play as close as they can. Moss against Alpha. It's a save. Rebound by Yan. Makes the double. Vitality send it away. 40 seconds, midfield, the site of so many battles so far. Jan pips in the double, it's a chance. It's Trefinio, and up! A Fury victory is on the cards! It's about time we see Trefinio! Fury, they will not go down without a fight. The drums will drum on, 35 seconds. Vitality, trail by one. Echoes of goal number one in the series. Jafino getting that dunk on the goal line. But they want to make sure it does not fall against them as it did previously. Final 26, Zen low on boost. Midfield sends it across. Redosin trying to clear the man out, playing minesweep for a head. Oh, 17 seconds. Fury, you just don't choke. Can it be that easy? Can he get an insurance goal? It's a good touch by Loss to keep Vitality in the zone. Seconds drained by as Yan is tested. He throws it back to the orange half. Vitality have to seal across and Furia go for dunks. Vitality, they are shaken. They have to cross the ocean. Alpha flicks it above one. One of the defenders of Furia are there. Vitality so close. More opportunities though as Zen is going to catch, but nowhere near it. Sent to the ground. Furia. Starts from an 0-3 situation, and it starts with one game win. This one game in Vitality sends them through space against G2 and Furia when it just keeps their hopes alive. And Sam, are they going to be able to tie their land record of getting third to fourth, getting through to that semi-finals, playing for a chance to get into the grounds for the first ever time as a region? It's then being caught out by Jan, sent long. Alpha Central, only Dr. Ufinio in the middle for him. Jan to the backboard, Zen to follow. A second touch, again low on boost, and this is exactly how Furia want to play. You see where the boost is going, Vitality entirely into Furia's tanks. And that is in the last game, the most amount of goals that Furia scored in a game, and oh, Vitality, they keep it close. But Vitality are so consistent on that defense so far, and man! Oh! Furia just can't find the game! An unfortunate shot for Trufino. Sends it high and wide. That could have gone top bins. That was going to be a lead for Furia. Takes out his all of his anger. It's Jan. He's consistent as ever, however, on the reset. Don't make Jan angry. Look, the reset. Zan gets back, but it's too little too late. Furia with the lead. Again, they won the previous game. They got the lead, they won the game. Wow, so, that's check out to me. There you go. EU math does still work. This minute 10, however, is going to really start the push as Redosin 50s against any defender that finds his way. And Alpha removes lost from the pitch. Alpha towards a target. Enough boost for a dunk. Yes, please. Zen Central on net. Lost again with a save. Offensively, we've been picking him up. But defensively, my word. Ah. Just shove Redosin out of the way. Furia on the counter-attack. Yeah, this is getting demoed, I think. And Furia, it's all up to loss to buy time, and he's trying to bait out Vitality's oh, wow. defense. Look at the control of the ball, but it's Vitality. 
Melanie back in the driver's seat, or so you would think. Lost got boost, and he, well, he loses that 50. Furia, they don't seem to test it on the defense. Yan sails away, but it's saved again by Zen. Both teams battling for that driver's seat right now, and Furia, they have fought incredibly hard. Compared to the team that they put up against Vitality earlier on, this is astonishing. This is them in Swiss now. We approach half-time of Furia maintaining this lead. Zed up high from the crossbar. It's one, it's two, it's not quite good enough. It is so close. Furia are stabilized on the defense. Vitality, they will still 50 everything they can in the midfield because what you have to be scared of is Furia's pace, how fast they can play. Alpha's running out of boost and Vitality still looking for the equalizer. Back into the blue half, Vitality send it. Send now going central. Trofino finds loss. It's going to be just wide a target, and Alpha's in the way regardless. 50 boost, bird attacking player in Yan immediately comes into challenge. Trofino wins that one, pinches very awkwardly towards his Vitality half. One beaten, two beaten. A pinch for Zen, not quite on target. And Bob, however, he's going to make it on target. Reducing the target, man. Oh, Reducing. He just keeps going! Vitality will never let you suffocate them! It's always been within one between these two teams. And now, we go into the second half with fear in Furia's eyes, with match points staring them down as Furia get close. Zen scoops it to the side, but it's a heavier touch. Trofino gets a piece of it. He has no boost, and Loss and Yan have to step up. And Alpha can still set it to the corner. It's a launch, an attempted clear out of Furia, but they seem stuck. Rodosin's hunting for demos. Vitality and the three on two don't have the ball, so they wait, they play back. Yan has space, goes towards the back wall and back to loss. Draws out the one defender and Vitality stabilize. Corner bound yet again, more and more challenges. Yan central, steals 100 boost. They will be vital for their long-term plans. Vitality cannot work out on their own half. They're about 80 between them. Yan back corner. Zen returns the favor, steals the boost. Yan unable to get this particularly far and challenges versus Alpha now back in that corner. Oh, last has two against them. The last minute, Fury working on the reverse sweep. But Loss has no boost, and but Fury have made magic happen without those resources. But now Alpha bounces, early challenges out of Fury, starting to play a step ahead and going toe to toe. 45 seconds, backboard Zen is going to be catching to the ceiling. 50 boost, Trofino is up already. Zen dumps him towards target. Lost thankfully there for Fury. No mistakes can happen on the Fury Zen. Not on this! No! Seconds, half a minute, one goal that Furia need to bring back. And Vitality, calm composure. They are killers in the arena. And Furia are about to go down in Alpha's 1,000th game in the RLCS regular season. Radosan got up and said, be quiet, this is our side of the pond. But Lost fakes it, but there's so many cooks in that kitchen. Rodosin now challenging. It's more and more seconds off the clock. It's more and more cars in the graveyard. Yan is up. It's towards target, but nobody there going to be able to clear it away. Seven seconds. Loss. This is the last opportunity for Furia. 